Eagles fan. And if I wasn't in a mental institution, I would go to every game. It's what my grandma says every time I visit her. <laughs> I had to put in a mental institution. You bet me on my neck, grandma. It hurts when you bite. I think you got rabies. Or effective, or effective diabetes. But listen. Today I want to talk about <clears throat> Sam Bradford is gone. He's gone. He is gone. He's gone. Just like A-Rod's gone. Just like Magic Johnson's eight. It disappeared. He's out of here. I'm glad. I'm glad he's gone. Just like when my father left me when I was a kid. I said, I don't need you. Please come back. But, uh, yeah, but the thing about it was, man, he's a fucking thief. Sam Bradford is a thief. He's a bank robber. Jesse James type bank robber. He came to Phil he came from Philadelphia from the Rams because he robbed him. He's an injury prone bum. And he got a cockeyed. He's cockeyed like a chick that gets on her knees for a blowjob and the guy keeps missing. Oh, that's all right. My mouth broke. Oh, stop hitting me in my eyes. I can't see. I'm glad about this, because think about it. We got a draft pick now. We got a draft pick. Because, guess what, guys? The NFL drafts in Philadelphia, it'd be kind of bad to have a draft. We no fucking draft picks! You know, I ain't going to lie. When I read the news, it said, uh, Sam Bradford got traded to the Minnesota Vikings. My nipples got hard. Just like a chick that's getting finger bang at Bible study. Ooh, don't come in here, Deacon. Don't come in here, Deacon. Somebody got their fingers in my twat. But uh, the thing about it is, man, the thing about it is, Sam Bradford is gone, and I get a sense of relief. I get, I'm just so happy, man. I'm, I'm so happy he's gone. It's just like when my ex girlfriend was gone. I mean, mentally, she, she's been gone. But she been, but she, but she disappeared. I said, "Go! I hate you. you. You didn't have to sleep with my brother, bitch. And you also didn't have to tell me his dick was bigger than mine. But you're an asshole. And you gotta leave. I know I got a small penis, but I got a big tongue. If you don't believe me, that's all the food I eat. But um." But the thing about this, man, the thing about this, the thing about this, man, Bradford, Bradford is a piece of garbage. And I hope that he goes, and when he goes to Minnesota, because I feel bad that Teddy Bridgewood is going, I don't even feel bad that they got to deal with that piece of shit. <laughs> Bradford is gone. So hopefully uh, Carson Wentz comes in there and does a good job, you know. And I'm sorry for my do-rag. My do-rag's a little messed up because a pit bull tried to take it off my head. I said, get off it. I said, come on, man. I said, I said you're not going to fuck up my swag today, man. I said, get off me, Spike. But, uh, anyway, anyway, like, uh, well, the Eagles, I think, did a good move. You know what I mean? Um, we got a draft pick now, and Chip Kelly fucked up our offense. Chip Kelly fucked up our Chip Kelly fucked up the Eagles more than George Bush, George Bush did America. He was sorry for you New Yorkers. You know what I mean? I know y'all went through some hard shit. There's no getting over it. But Chip Kelly fucked up our team. So Howie Roseman, give yourself a clap on your back. Howie Roseman. You did yourself a damn good job. I'm going to take you to the strip club. You, all, all lap dances is on me. You know what I'm saying? I know, I, I know a nice little strip club right around the corner. All fat bitches. They walk around with Tootsie Roll rappers and everything. But, um, but the thing I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad, you know what I mean? Uh, he did what he had to. And, and he fixes, he's fixing up our team. We got Carson Wentz. Think about it. 
We got a number one. I mean, he was a number two pick. You know what I mean? You got a quarterback for the future. And now next year, if the Vikings stink, which they will because Bradford is ass cheeks. He's more, he's ass cheeks. He's ass cheeks. You know he's ass cheeks because if he walks around prison, it's the present of him. Oh, that's my ass. Who the fuck fuck's looking for Big Bubba? But, uh, anyway, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, he's ass cheeks. So the Vikings are going to stink. They're going to stink. You know what I mean? They was better off with Sean Hill. They was better off with Sean Hill, but now they got Bradford. My knees are so bad. Bradford. I should be, you know, <laughs> yeah, man. You fragile motherfucker. You fragile. You're like glass. Bridgewater. It's, it's hurt, and he's going to last longer than Bradford, you dumb-ass Vikings organization. You gave up picks for Bradford? What the hell are you smoking? If you're smoking something good, can I smoke it? I don't care if I lose my job. I want to get high. But, uh, but anyway, good move, Philadelphia. So now, you know, now I'm going to go to the games. I'm going to go to the games, put on my green eagle wig like I usually wear. Around there, a lot of people call me eagle man. Other people call me retard. Either way, either way, either way, whatever you whatever you, you choose. But I'm going to be to the games, and I hope we have a good year this year. And it was a great move, and I'm satisfied. Peace!